everyone. We'll just give everyone one or two more minutes just to get ready. Get everyone in place. Just make sure you've got some water handy. You might be in your lounge, so you might have a carpet or a rug handy. But if you don't, just uh, find an old exercise mat or yoga mat. Or maybe just put down a hoodie on a hard floor. Or just a few hoodies on a hard floor. You can make the exercises harder if you want to. Using two water bottles, two cans of kidney beans soup, or two cans of baked beans. So today I'll just be demonstrating the exercises with uh, blue dumbbells. They're a little bit easier to see from a distance. But grab any weights you want to, if you do want to. You don't have to, you can just like, sort of uh, do all the exercises, free weights with your own body weight only. Work at your own abilities. If you've got any bad joints or aches or pains, then hopefully you might know your own modification for those exercises. Uh, we're gonna do a warm up, quite a nice big comprehensive warm up. Get the blood circulating around, burn a few calories just there. Also loosen up all the joints and get you ready for the circuits. We're gonna do one circuit, it's gonna be 35 seconds working, 20 seconds rest, 35 seconds, 20 seconds rest, and it's going to be three exercises per circuit. So we're going to do those nine exercises, uh, nine sets of the exercises for a circuit. Then we'll have one or two minute uh, break just for some water. We'll come back for circuit two, have another little break, and then we'll finish off with some cardio and some planks, some cardio and some planks, just to get it going right at the end of the session. And then we'll have a cool down and stretch. Uh, still just getting around to getting used to the clock change. Hopefully people will be logging on now. Even if you log in one or two minutes late, you'll still be picking up the majority of the warm up. Anyway, so my name's Rob. My YouTube channel is one to one exercise. So that's numbers, one to one exercise. And in a few weeks, I'll be putting on a really good fitness test on there. So a fitness test for all ages and abilities. So maybe if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get that one up there and then it will just be a test that you can just do yourself every three or four weeks and hopefully you'll see the numbers go up on that. And that's your test workout. will take about 20, 25 minutes. So you can always combine it in with a walk or a cycle or a run before or afterwards if you wanted to. And this is going to be my last Facebook live session for a while uh, because of the virus epidemic. Uh, just going to be doing some Zoom sessions next week. So if you're interested in doing any of these sessions via uh, five Zoom live, just either send me a message or send me an email. So once you're ready, either just walk on the spot or jog on the spot. Just go on some little shoulder circles, going forwards. Some shoulder circles going backwards. And take your head round to the left. And the right. And left to the left shoulder. Right to the right. And chin out chest. And back up. And some big shoulder circles going forwards. And some big shoulder circles going backwards. And some big brush hook. And so on the first brush hook. And some press ups out to the front. And out to the sides. And shoulder presses to the sky. And triceps down the back. And some bicep curls for a few seconds. And open close your hands out to the sides. And the front. And let's go. And either walking or jogging. Or jogging fast, or walking slow on spot, whatever you fancy. And some high rotator cuffs, so try to keep the elbows pinned. Working your rear shoulders, your rotator cuffs. Uh, awkward, weird, low ones. Bring your hands down, a bit like a puppet. Squeeze the elbows in, and pull your hands back to the sides. Lean forwards, but chill up nice and tall, and get out some reverse flies. And some punches down to ground. And some bundles out to the front. And some bundles out to the sides. And some bundles out to the sky. And some hand over hand speed ball forwards. And backwards. And low ones forwards. And backwards. And go some gentle little heel flicks on the spot. So you can just walk and do the easiest version. So the slow walking version will be the easiest one throughout this workout today. Uh, I'm going to go some gentle little heel flicks. About 50% high. Throw in a few bicep curls. If you want to, and either walking on the spot, marching on the spot, knee raises, or jogging on the spot, and some knee raises to the front. And loosen off your neck, shake out your arms a little bit as you go along. And both feet and knees together, and get us a little ski sets up and down the spot. Circles round one way, circles round the other way. Anchor rolls on one foot, one way, and the other way. 
and another foot, circle one way through the ankle, and the ankle back that way. Rock up and down on tiptoes a few times to warm up your shin muscles and also your calves. So pinch at the top for a second, balance on your heels, pinch on the top for a second, balance on your heels. And some slightly higher heel fix this time, walking, jogging, or quite fast pace, about 75% higher this time, throw in some bicep curls. Walk on the spot, or one knees up to the front. Um, 75% high, knee raises, right to your lower abs, also get your hip flexors going, loosen off your upper body a little bit, or to go for a running man, pose it, two, two, uh, one. and go with some gentle back twists, lick over your left shoulder, lick over your right shoulder, uh, hands above the head, and feet to some temples, more side bends, Hands down the side for some more side bends. Hands on the hips and big hip circles around one way. Big hip circles around the other way. And all the top heel flicks as high as you can. So really try to kick it back to the side. And knees are different as high as you can. And always move the arms a little bit if you want to. And five, four, three, two, and one. And side bend your legs and just go for either. Touching opposite hand to opposite knee, or opposite shin, or opposite ankle, or opposite toes. Uh, windmill, your head up to the sky, if you haven't got any problems with your hamstrings, or your lower back. And you come up nice and slow. And either walking ones are the easiest versions, or some jumping jacks are the hardest versions. So feet apart, feet together. Always taking nice deep breaths today, so not short, shallow breaths. Try to take some deep breaths, right into your belly button. Three, two, and one. And fingers to some temples. And go some opposite knees to opposite elbows. Three, two, and one. And go in for either nice and slow, just changing your legs, or some spicy dogs, opposite arm, opposite legs, or just whatever you fancy. You know, like cross country skiing on the spot. And three, two, and one. And this time, just going for the same knee, same, same elbow. So balance it onto your right leg, left knee comes up. Balance it onto your left leg, right knee comes up. Try to get your upper body up nice and tall. Maybe slightly touching your fingertips, your temples. Just make sure you don't press into your head too much, even if you're just half an inch away. That's perfectly fine. And this time, just going for walking ones or jumping jacks with a chest stretch. And five, four, two, two, and uh, one. And nice, slow, standing up, Superman raises. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Stretch out your left lower back. Stretch out your right lower back. And go some more spray dogs. So nice lot of spray dogs. And five. Hands out to the side or hands on the hips or hands over the side. Don't lean. Just try going for a lift like your left leg as high as you can, your right leg as high as you can, left leg as high as you can, right leg as high as you can. So keep in balance and lean the other way. And I do I even pick out your cans of baked beans or your cans or uh, bottles of water or your weights. Either just standing still and just going for bicep curls only or walking on the spot bicep curls or jog on the spot bicep curls. So this is like a little bit of cardio on the spot and just really warming up the front part of your arms, your biceps. You've got five more seconds left these ones. And three, two, and one. And both feet and knees close together, chin up nice and tall, with all about the weights, and just go for either a quarter squat or a half squat or a three quarter squat. So nice and slow. A few more seconds. Three. Two, uh, oh. uh, round two, draw my spot, and some more bicep curls. Just about 10 seconds worth, as fast as you want to do the legs. And three, two, uh, oh. and this time, chill up nice and tall, and just going for a few slow controlled lunges. So warm up your big leg muscles, so your rear knee doesn't hit the floor. One more each side, one more for the other side. 
Last lot of jogging on the spot. Bicep curls. And three, two, and one. And this time, just put your hands on my sides, bring your legs a little bit, and get some tip toes breaks on the spot. So this is the last part of the warm up. So just going for either looking down towards your feet or jump by some door, and just try and go nice and fast. Five more seconds, walking, jogging, or sprinting. Five more seconds, we'll grab a sit. Three, two, and one. A little shake out there. Well done, and that's the warm up done. In about a minute or so, we'll start the first circuit. Just need to get your mat ready for this one. Now let's talk you through the three exercises first. You'll be doing press ups and then all the way down and lifting your hands off the floor. You're going to press up and the easiest version is on your knees, hardest version is off your knees. If you don't want to go all the way down to the floor, I'll just show you either a quarter or a half press up that you can do. After that, it's going to be a Turkish get up where you're laying fully flat. It's a big power sit up, you can use your arms to get yourself back up, or if you don't want to do that, I'll just give you an easier version of a crunch. And after that, it's going to be some close together squats and wide squats or a squat jump version. So, the first version, I'll just show you the press ups and then I'll, ask you, I'll show you the next exercise when you've got your rest period. So, easiest version is just down on your knees, you're going to do a press up down to the floor, hands off, and push back up, brace your stomach muscles. Down to the floor, hands up. Brace your stomach muscles and push back up. Or the hardest version is a whole press up, hands up, and push yourself back up. But you really have to brace your stomach muscles, that one. If you don't want to do that one, just on your knees and just go for even quarter press ups or half press ups. So you've got 35 seconds on the timer and then 20, 25 seconds rest after that. Three, two, one, and go. 35 seconds, I'll show you the whole one. Press up, hands up, brace your stomach muscles, so you actually tense your stomach muscles and push back up. Hands up, push yourself back up. Hardest version is a press up, hands up, push yourself back up. Down, hands up, and push yourself back up. Down, hands up, and push yourself back up. It's all about tensing your stomach muscles. 10 more seconds, I'll go down to the easy one. Press up on your knees, hands up, and back up. And press up on your knees, hands up, and back up. Well done, 20 seconds rest period. Next one is. Laying fully out flat, so rest here, laying fully out flat, left hand, stand up tall, left hand, guide down, right hand, stand up tall, right hand, guide it down, or both hands, if you don't want to do that one, just go for some crunches, so if you don't want to do the whole turkey sit up, just go for some crunches, hands behind you, power sit up, bend your legs, get down nice and slow, alternating sides, you might find it a bit harder on one side, then the other side, you can throw both arms into it. So I'm right handed, but I actually find it easier getting up using my left hand than my right hand. And again, you just got normal crunches, uh, relaxing your upper body if you don't want to do those ones. And a few seconds of just set. Next exercise, we're talking about the weight. Easiest version. Is a close together squat, left wide squat, back to close together squat, right wide squat. So you spend most of the time, and the hardest version is squat together, squat out wide, squat together, squat out wide. So easiest version, close together squat, left foot wide, close together squat, right foot wide, with your weights, with your weights, with hardest version is wide squat, close together squat jump. Wide squat, close together squat jump. Chin up nice and tall, bend your legs, come up tall, bend your legs, come up tall. Well, the easiest version, close together squat, left wide, close together squat, right wide, and resting there.
Get it ready, round two of your three. Press up, hands up, press up, hands up. Easiest version, quarter, half press ups, or you go on your knees, hands up, and back up. Really brace your stomach muscles. Press up, hands up, tend your stomach muscles, and push back up. Down, hands up, tend your stomach muscles, and push back up. We got the whole version. Down, hands up, push back up. Down slowly, hands up, push back up, medium fast. Down slow, hands up, tend your stomach muscles. It's about physically tensing your core, your stomach muscles, your abs. You'll come up a lot easier if you've got like a straight long spine and stomach muscles like a broomstick. And resting there. 20 seconds rest. Easiest version is breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Or the hardest version is laying down fully flat. Don't use your body weight. Try and lay down fully still for a second. And go. And Turkish get ups. Up with the left hand, down with the left hand, still. Up with the right hand, down with the right hand, still. Up with both hands. If you need to, down nice and slow. One hand, both hands, or two hands, whatever you fancy. Each dispersion, are they conscious? You've got five more seconds. I'll do one more Turkish cup, laying down pretty still, and pushing back up. And resting there for 20 seconds. Grab your weights. Or your gear if you want to make it a little harder. Uh, still 10 more seconds breather. Easy dispersion. Close together. Left wide. Close together. Right wide. And go. So from the side, that's close together. Left wide. So you can put your hands there. Close together. Right wide. Close together. Squat down as far as comfortable. Left wide. Close together. Right wide. Hardest version. Is feet wide squat, narrow squat jump. 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 Or feet wide squat, narrow squat jump. Feet wide squat, and narrow squat jump. Two more seconds, and resting there, 20 seconds. Keep working hard. Third round coming up. Three exercises, 35 seconds, as many good quality ones as you can. Press up and a hand up. Easy version, quarter, half press ups. Medium version, down, hands up. Brace your stomach muscles. Hardest version, whole press up. Hands up, push back up. Hands up, push back up. So you try to tense your stomach muscles. Nice and steady. Work at your own pace. If you haven't trained for a while, take it nice and easy. If you've been doing a bit more often, you can always take it up a level. One more easy one on the knees. And resting there. So rather than the Turkish get up or Turkish stand up, you've got uh, chin up nice and tall, lift to ceiling crunch, back down, lift to ceiling crunch, and back down. Hardest version, lay fully still, up as fast as you can, without getting a head rush. Stand up tall, squeeze your glutes. Some people do this without using their hands. Some people are quite flexible. I'm six foot two inches tall and I'm not that flexible. Standing up tall, looking to the front. Alternating hands. Right side's a lot harder for me, even though I'm right handed. Both hands. A bit easier. Crunch is option if you need to. Couple more seconds on the timer. And uh, resting there, 20 seconds. Still we've got 10 more seconds, but the easiest version is close together squat, left wide squat, close together squat, right wide squat. And shake out, I'm going to those ones. Well, the hardest version is squat jump wide, squat jump narrow. Squat jump wide, squat jump narrow. Don't hold 
your breath. Nice deep breaths. Try going to your heels. 15 more seconds. Great work so far. Last exercise of the circuit. Been working out for about 20 minutes so far. We're going for 35 minutes today. And, ooh, and rest of you. Ooh, just do one more. Well done. Have a walk around. Take some nice deep breaths. Do any stretches you might need to do. But we'll do a full stretch at the end. Sometimes people have little niggles or tight points and they like to do a little bit of a stretch. And so you're going to take about one minute breather. In about 45 seconds, I'll talk you through the next and final main circuit. So have a walk around, jump on the spot, grab yourself some water, towel down your face, and I'll see you in a second. on your rest period, you zip towards me, I'll start off by showing you the easiest version, when I start the workout I'll be doing the easiest version, then I'll move back onto the hardest version, so this one, the easiest version is one foot, one foot, one foot, one foot, one foot forwards, other foot forwards, one foot to the right, one foot to the left, or the hardest version is double forwards, double side. Double forwards, double side. You might get it even harder when you do the bit to the side. You can always throw in a little course press up if you want to do. You can always throw in one of those ones just to really fire up yourself. So split the press, double. But the easiest version is toe tap, toe tap, a stretchy and a stretchy. So get ready to go for that one in 10 seconds as fast as you want to. If you don't want to do one leg, one leg, one leg, one leg, you can always do two. So you can do four singles that way and four to side. So anything you fancy numbers wise. I'll start with the easiest ones. Three, two, one, and go. Easiest version, one, two, side, side. Front, front, side, side. Hardest version, double, split, double, split, double, press up split, double, cause press up split. Mixture of press ups or leg press ups. 10 more seconds. And we're back to single, single, side, side. And relax in there for a few seconds. Next exercise, easiest version is a reverse crunch. Hands up by sides, legs bent, feet hit the floor is the easiest version. Uh, knees towards your face or feet don't hit the floor. So that's the hardest version. Uh, medium version and the hardest version is your kick to the bedroom ones and go. So if you go straight leg, bent leg, kick to the ceiling, straight leg, bent leg, kick to the ceiling, head on the floor, you don't kick above your face, you kick more above your hips. Straight leg, bent leg, you can put your legs down out in front and then bring them in. Or the easiest version is a reverse crunch. Either feet down, both knees towards your face, feet down, both knees towards your face. You can just go from there. Just there, just lifting up both feet a little bit off the floor. Or you can go for not floating and go for those ones. Or the hardest version is straight leg kick to the sky and resting there. Next exercise is a long lunge. Lean forwards with your can of baked beans in your hands, one row and back up. Long lunge, lean forwards and a row and back up and go. So chin up nice and tall, lunge, bend, lean forwards, one row, and back up. Put your leg into a little bit of a stress position. Try to break down the movements. It's quite hard to do it in one fluid motion. Move your can of baked beans, all your water bottles, work your leg muscles, lower back lean, upper back biceps, a little bit of your triceps, a little bit of your rear shoulders. Time for two more, most probably. Last one for my left leg, one more for your right leg, and relax in there for 20 seconds. And you've got 
10 more seconds. I'll start off by showing you the easiest ones. When I say go, you go straight into the easiest version. One leg, one leg, split and split and go, go. One leg, one leg, tap and tap. Hardest version, double, split, double, split. Keep your hips up nice and low. Or double, little press up and split. Double, press up and split. So that's the hardest extreme version. That's a hard version just there. And uh, modify it to your own abilities. Single leg version. Abs, abs, lower back, lower back. Abs, abs, and relax in there. So 10 more seconds, breather, feel so good. This is round two or three. Easiest version. Both feet need to go a little bit off the floor, put them down. A little bit off the floor, put them down. Or both feet off the floor, hard motion. And go. So medium version, both knees off the ground. Little version, easiest version there. Or the hardest version is straight leg, bent leg, kick to the sky. Straight leg, bent leg, kick to the sky. Nice deep breaths. Lift towards your feet if you want to. Any problems with your neck, and just put your head down on the floor. For this one, you can put your legs out in front of you. It's quite a bit harder to keep your legs floating all the time. A few more seconds. Keep your lower back pulled down to the ground. Easiest version is just feet down, knee towards your face, feet down, knee towards your face, and slowly back up. So you got lunges and a bit of a row. Ten more seconds. But I'll just go straight into it to show you. Let's go for left lunge, lean, and pull up. And go. Right lunge, lean forwards, and one pull up. Quite a good hard balancing one. Get you ready for skiing next year. If you're into skiing. 20 more seconds. Round two. We've got one more round after this. We've got about 28 minutes so far. Not too far from a cool down and stretch. Lunge for the rear leg. I'm going to do one more on the right leg, just try to even it up a bit. And rest in there for 20 seconds. Got seven more seconds before I say go. But the easiest version is toe tap for your abs and split and split and go. Toe tap, toe tap, split and split. Hardest version, double, split, double, jump, split, double, jump, split, double squat thrust or double mountain climber. You want to make it harder, throw in the press up on the split. Because your body can kind of do both those ones at the same time. 10 more seconds. Third and final of these ones. I'm going down to single, single. I can still feel it working my stomach muscles. And relax and chill out there for a few seconds. Whew. Tie yourself down. But it's good for you to sweat, cool your body down, burn some more calories. Easiest version, feet down, both feet off the floor. Feet down, both feet off the floor. Medium version, feet always stay off the floor. And bigger and go. go. And the hardest version, straight leg, bent leg, kick to the ceiling. Straight leg, bent leg, with the outside, kick to the sky. Kick to the clouds. Try to belly. Try to go work off your belly button. You don't want your feet above your chest or your face. So ideally, directly above your hips. So it's like your soles face outwards. And then back down to the medium version is reverse crunch. Both knees in, both feet down to the floor. Both knees in, both down to the floor. A few more seconds over those ones. Nice deep breaths. And steady back up. Last part of this circuit before we grab a quick sip, there'll be cardio and planks, cardio planks, cardio planks, and a stretch. So this one is lunge, lean, bent over row, and go. Lunge, lean, bent over row. Lunge, lean, bent over row. You might end up doing six on each leg, or eight on each leg, 
even doing it with a can of baked beans or two water bottles, oh, make it a bit harder, but watch out for your balance. Especially when you're trying to talk. 10 more seconds, eyes up tall, lunge, lean, pull up, controlled. Up tall, lunge, lean, pull up, controlled. And make, finish off your last one, and well done. It's about a minute breather just now. So I'll get you to do a bit of cardio. I'll stand just here for my cardio, grab water. And then the easiest version of a plank will be a knee down plank. And the hardest version of a plank will be a whole plank. So you don't want your hips up too high, you don't want your hips down too low. So nearly finished, four stretch. The third round of cardio will be a slow walk or a slow jog version. First two rounds of cardio, you can make them a little bit faster, a bit harder. First bit of cardio is going to be climbing the rope. You can climb the rope nice and slow, just like that. You can do it that sort of pace, or you can do it that sort of pace. And giggle. Walking, climb the rope. Jogging, climb the rope. Or go crazy fast, climb the rope. Watch out for anything above you. Any sort of lights. Or chandeliers. Or trapeze. 15 more seconds. You've got two knackered rounds of cardio. One call out round of cardio. Planks, and then the workout quite good. Your body's fatigued. You should hope you get a little bit shaky if you're holding a good plank. And I'm relaxing there. Ten more seconds rest. Knee down plank is the easiest version, or you got the whole plank. Five. Hold yourself just there and go. Hold yourself just there. If you try to pull your elbows down, it makes it a little bit harder. Try and squeeze both your feet and knees together. Also try to tend your abs and pull your stomach muscles up to the sky. Look in between your hands, don't look downwards. Look in between your hands. Nice deep breaths. Four more seconds, deep breaths into your belly button. And stay back up. You can either go super hard for this one or medium hard. This time when the buzzer goes, will be a bit of a seesaw, uh, chainsaw action, touching the opposite hand to opposite foot. So you can just do that one. If you want to make it harder, go for that one. And go. So even nice and steady, go for that one. Or you've got a harder version, just go for that one. This is supposed to be the last hard thing Cards are festive white today. The little ones or big ones. Sit up nice and tall. Bring your knees up to a bit of an awkward angle, up to sides. Touch the opposite hand, opposite knee, opposite shin, opposite ankle. Ten more seconds. Walking, jogging, or sprinting. Five more seconds. Keep it going. You may just want to slow down with some of the good quality ones. And plank number two coming up. So that's all your really hard stuff done, to, done today. So well done. Great effort. Burnt quite a lot of calories so far. Also from circuit training. Could burn up to calories for the next 24 to 48 hours. And then knee down plank or whole plank. And go. Knee plank or whole plank. Try to push your upper body away from the floor. So don't sink down. Try to push away. Even try to round your upper back. So you try to really push up from your spine. Try to get your spine as far away from the floor as you can. Even just pushing your body up should give you the shakes. You're getting shakes on your knees, the whole ones, and that's working well. And stay back up. So this time, we'll just do 20 seconds worth. Gentle jog on the spot. Next time we hit the buzzer, 
Now we're going for the last plank. So jog on the spot, barely moving or walk on the spot. Shake it out your arms, shake it out your legs. And last plank for today before stretch. It doesn't matter if it takes a little bit longer to get down there. Last plank, or a whole plank. Nice deep breaths. Look just in between your hands. Try to squeeze both your feet and knees together, fire off your legs, your glutes, your thigh muscles. Push your body away and even just pull your elbows down, it makes it a little bit harder. A few more seconds. Nice deep breaths. And chill out there. And see yourself into a child's pose stretch. Now see yourself backwards and down. A few more seconds, I'll just turn this off. And then knees nice and wide for a slightly different child's pose stretch. And Zay on your front. I was going for either hands by your ears or hands out in front at your own pace. Just go for five seconds, upper body and legs, legs only or upper body only. Five seconds, slowly go down. Five seconds, and slowly go down. Go into a calf stretch, downward facing dog stretch. So I like to start off with my feet wide for about 10 seconds. And then I'll put my feet together and walk back a little bit further. I know some people like to do a single leg version. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. And it's going down. And it's going for either a little cobra stretch or a whole cobra stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one. And it's going for feet together, chin up nice and tall. And it's going for inner thigh stretch. Last minute or two. So if you do want to do this workout again, it'll be on my YouTube channel, the numbers one to one exercise. That comes off as Rockdale Fitness. Next week, three or four times a week, at different times throughout the week to suit people. I'll be doing these sort of sessions live. So just inviting a private group through to Zoom. So if anyone wants is interested in that, send me a message or an email. And I'll hopefully see some of you for the live Zoom sessions. Um, put one uh, knee just across and then pull opposite knee to opposite shoulder to get a big glute stretch. Three, two, and one. Pull that knee across, so for example, right knee to left shoulder. Three, two, and one. Leg front, legs out in front of you. Chin up nice and tall. And go have a good hamstring stretch you chin up tall. And then towards the end, just fold forwards. I can't get my chest anywhere near my thighs. I can't get my hands anywhere near my feet. But any sort of stretch you feel, just for the back part of the hamstrings. Three, two, and one. And slowly stand back up. Grab onto a wall or a chair, I'll just do a freestanding quad stretch. A chin up nice and tall. Feel free to share my YouTube channel or feel free to share this on Facebook. Be greatly appreciated. And I hope you enjoyed it and got a good sweat on. Slow your down. Go for the other quad stretch. Nice deep breaths. Soft bend, support the leg. Three, two, and one. Pull your arms back. Or chest stretch, just as you flick out your legs a little bit. Stretch up to the sky, flick out your legs a bit more. Shoulder neck stretch one way. If you're a bit stiff later on, do some more stretches in front of the TV or next to your office desk or in the next day or two. Three, two, and one. And same side. Work pretty much every major muscle group in your body there. With a mixture of uh, static holds, static core work, 
and moving plyometrics and a quite good high high intensity interval training and try to stretch on the back so you're working working for 35 seconds and you had 20 seconds break so you were working for longer than you were resting and last try to stretch on the other side uh, a little shake off there keep yourself around on the floors and I'll see you soon, hopefully on my YouTube channel or on Zoom. Uh, have a great day. Cheers, I'm Rob. Goodbye.